Hello all race fans! Today's man racing here with another NASCAR Heat 4 custom livery and today we're swinging it back to 1999 when I was tiny and we're going to do Ward Burton's 22 car from 1999 the M MBNA America car so remember subscribe and carry on watching to see how we make this wonderful looking livery Hello all, swinging it back to 1999 we're going to do Ward Burton's number 22 car the MBNA America car and this once again from Matt Cannon is this and cheers to doing it man and I think we'll crack on shall we once again before we start like comment and subscribe for, for more some NASCAR Heat 4 content so first of all we got the Pontiac as you can see in the bottom left of your screen now with this what we're going to do we're going to use the Toyota obviously back in them times in 1999 where I was about three uh, you had Chevrolet you had Ford and the third was obviously Pontiac so we're going to use the Toyota as a representation of Pontiac so as you're looking you can see probably where I'm going with the Civri especially with the black what we do we go all the way to the left and we'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine across so the tenth yeah be about the tenth one across from the left we have the stock black there and that will be uh, the base paint that will be the top half of the car as for stripe one this is going to be that bottom half and that's going to be I'm going to use the stock seal stock grey and that's just to see how the livery looks and see how comparable it is and for stripe two we're just going to use the stock dark green now I don't think it's going to be anything thicker but I think that's not bad I may lighten that green up and I think that's a bit better actually I quite like that so I'm going to have a quick look see if there's any others which we could use and no there isn't so it's gonna be this one full beans right so first of all we want to try and adjust this green to be the correct type of green and what we do we go into the customs and we go down to here which is about six seventh from the top and we'll just darken it up a bit and I don't want it too dark, I want it about here, which is about fifth from the bottom. So we'll go fifth from the bottom. As for the silver, we want to go into the customs and we go and how grey do I want it? And I feel I want it around here. It's not exactly the lightest, but uh, on the side of the car it looks darker because of the shadow. And on the front of the car it looks quite bright. So I feel maybe it's gonna be one of these two. I feel I'm gonna go for this one, which is three three six about eight from the bottom and we we'll go from that so for the number we want the number 22 and as we go across we'll find I think we'll go for 22 B or because of how it also looks quite retro but it's massive on the car so I'll quite I think that's quite a good one so number fill we're going to use the stock white it has got green outline in the reference picture but we can't have changed the outline of the car which is a shame as for the wheels, we're going for the yellow ringed ones, which is going to be second from the left. And now we can look at sponsorship. And unfortunately, the uh, blue cross one doesn't quite cut it, cut the mustard. So what we do, we want white sponsorship, uh, white writing. And I feel brand, mainly because we've got big bold writing at the top. It's the same colour. And we've got smaller writing just below. And I feel that's going to be the best. Uh, any others you want to choose? Um, not me. Really. I think that's going to be the best choice there. Uh, you could choose Shriners Hospital for Children if you so chose. But I feel Brant's going to be the best choice for this one. So we go Brant. For the side sponsorship, he's got a ton of sponsors. And we've got uh, Amoco for Ward Burton's car. And what can we do for that one? So we could maybe put Pro NASCAR. But I feel we need something round something that's red something that's blue i don't think we've got red or blue but i feel we've got the red one which was green and i feel that may be the best way of tributing that sponsor once again we go for the back part and here you've got a choice you can go for pro core i feel that's gonna be a nice safe bet for that one and uh, or you got brant and i feel brant's i thought you allied like that I thought Brant may be the best to keep the Brant sponsorship going across the car. Uh, the deck kid, as you can see in the reference picture, in this picture, 
he has not got a sponsor, so we'll, we won't play anything there. And on the rear car, you can maybe put Brant if you wanted. Um, I may not put anything. Let's see how the Brant sponsorship looks. Mm, it's not really in the way, is it? But I'm going to leave nothing there, and that keeps the, us, the rear of the car bet, nice and clean. So there we go. That's how we do 1999 Ward Burton's car. And I hope you liked that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Keep subscribing. And yeah, I think we'll go and see what it looks like out on track. So we're here in Michigan where Ward Burton got his one pole position of the season in 1999. And you know what? This is a great place to show off the car and show off the delivery. And it's not a bad one. I wish we had the green a little bit more bigger on more of the car but you know what it's a nice little tribute livery and the ream sponsorship doesn't get in the way in fact it adds to the livery and i quite like that the brant goes well with the car the rear car maybe i could have put a brant sponsorship uh because having it plain black doesn't look quite right but i'm just going with what the car looks like in the reference picture that is still currently on the right left the bottom left of the screen and you know what i really like this livery and i feel that's it was a good choice uh happy days so i hope you all enjoyed today's nascar heat 4 custom livery and i hope to see you for another nascar heat 4 video next time so until the next video remember to like comment subscribe and join us for some more nascar heat 4 content soon until then see you soon